Well, football returns, so does our top 10 countdown. Each weekday through next Friday, we'll be taking a look at 10 teams from around the area who we expect big things from in the regular season. So without further ado, let's get things started with a trip to Lackawanna County. Number 10, the Old Forge Blue Devils. We're young and we're, we're angry and we're ready to get after it. Those are the words of Old Forge senior Kevin Pepson. He and the rest of the Blue Devils come into 2019 with something to prove. It's cliche a little bit. A lot of guys say that stuff, but, you know, working hard when nobody's looking and stuff like that. But, I mean, this is really a different group. It, it really, they're a smart group. And they have the talent coming off an 8-3 season. Pepson returns as the team's top rusher. Dante Lucarelli returns a quarterback. And Jonathan Nikoloff will anchor both sides of the line. I think that one of our stronger points are the line. A couple of younger kids coming up, but they know how to work. They're going to work hard. They're going to do what they have to do to get the job done. Last year, Old Forge was eliminated by Lackawanna Trail, but the Blue Devils beat the Lions in the regular season. And of course, Lack Trail went on to play for the class single A state championship game. That just goes to show what potential this Old Forge team has. We believe we're right there. Like, I mean, our kids believe it. Uh, we, we put it in place and, and uh, Geez, a good seven, eight years ago and really started preaching that to our kids that it could be you. It, you know, it's not uncommon to have it happen. That district title game is still fresh in the Blue Devils' minds and serves as the backdrop for their motivation this season. Losing the trail in the district championship, it sucked, but knowing that we beat them in the regular season just keep, has us excited for uh, playing them this year. It was hard seeing, you know, they went, you know, whatever it's done. That was last year, that's the past. It's the future now, or the present, and you know we're looking to get them back this year. We want them. The only thing I could say is I have a lot of confidence in this group that believes in the tradition of the program and what we've started here years ago. And they take a lot of pride in that, and they feel that it's in their hands. And we're off. One team down, nine to go. We'll reveal the bottom half of our list throughout the remainder of this week. And then starting next Monday, we'll run through the top five, including our number one team on the first night of the regular season.